Hey guys, I'm Oliver with Motionary, and today you're going to learn how to use subtitles and captions inside Final Cut Pro. The terms captions and subtitles are often used synonymously. However, they each provide very different functions. Captions are a transcription of the dialogue so the viewer can follow along with the dialogue even without the audio, whereas subtitles are a translation of dialogue often into a different language. So let's start with how to use captions and subtitles inside Final Cut Pro, which can be created in two different formats, CEA 608 or ITT. CEA 608 is most commonly used for broadcasting and web video because many of the parameters such as position, color, and formatting can be altered. ITT, however, is dedicated to delivering caption content to the iTunes store. In Final Cut Pro, Captions are easily assigned specific caption roles, which may need to be added. You can do this by going to Modify, Edit Roles, and then selecting Captions from the header menu. If you're only showing ITT captions, and wish to create captions for anywhere other than the iTunes Store, you'll need to add a new caption role and select the CEA 608. In here, you can also remove the default language and add another language, or even add multiple. For this instance, we're just going to use English, so I can remove the French by clicking the minus button. Once you're done, just hit apply. So now that you've created a new caption role, you can start adding captions to your timeline. Position your playhead to where you want to add the caption and go to edit, captions, add captions, or you can use keyboard shortcut option C. Final Cut Pro will default to the format ITT, so simply select the drop down next to the language and select CEA 608. If the text box doesn't automatically appear, you can double click on the caption to edit the text. Or you can go up to the caption inspector in the top right to adjust the parameters like placement, formatting, and text color. We're going to stick with the white text color and the black background. By default, Final Cut Pro sets the caption duration to two seconds. Or 48 frames. And if the caption is too close to the end of the clip, Final Cut Pro will give you a timing error. For example, if we add another caption using the keyboard shortcut option C and adjust the duration of the caption by dragging the start or end of the caption to the left or the right to decrease or increase the length of the time the caption is displayed, you'll see we get a truncation error and the caption itself is highlighted. In this case, we can see from the error in the captions inspector that the caption is too close to the end of the clip and must be shortened to at least one frame shorter than the clip itself. Final Cut Pro does offer a number of other errors, and from the description of the error shown in the caption inspector, you should be able to follow the steps to fix it. When it comes to adjusting the look and feel of the caption or subtitle, you may not be able to achieve the exact look you're looking for, so you may have to opt for a customized basic title, which will automatically be burnt into your video, and won't give you the ability to change this after export like captions do. When you get to the point of having multiple captions across your timeline, you can navigate between them easily by using keyboard shortcut command left arrow to go to the previous, or command right arrow to go to the next. If you're wanting to use captions for subtitles in multiple languages, we suggest adding your captions and customizing them first before adding multiple languages. By doing it this way, you can save yourself a ton of time in customization by duplicating a single or all captions, by selecting each caption and going to Edit, Captions, Duplicate Captions to New Language. Once you've selected your language, you'll see it shows up as a new captions layer, and you'll then need to make the language translation for each caption. So now that you've learned how to add captions, edit, and add duplicates for various languages, let's move on to how you can import captions as well as exporting captions. Starting with importing captions, you can directly import captions into a project on the timeline or import a media file with embedded CEA 608 captions. To import captions into a project on the timeline, go to File, Import, Captions, and select either a file with the extension .scc or .itt. As you can see, the captions automatically match the clips at which they were exported from. And to import a media file with embedded CEA 608 captions, import the media file as you normally would, and once imported, you should see the imported file has a caption icon, 
which denotes that the clip contains captions. To extract the captions, add the clip to the timeline and go to Edit, Captions, Extract Captions. The captions will then be extracted and displayed at the top of the timeline. Before we move on to a pro tip for using captions, let's go through how to export captions both as individual captions files and a video clip with captions. To export an individual captions file, go to File, Export Captions. To export a video clip with captions, go to Share and select your desired format. Then go to Roles in the header menu, where you can select for your captions to be burned into your video, which means they cannot be edited in the exported file, and then to also select if you want to export a separate video file based on each caption language you have added. So now, let's move on to a pro tip when using captions and subtitles. It's more often than not that you'd want to use the same caption or subtitle style throughout a single video, especially if you've customized the look. So rather than creating a new caption each time, and then having to customize the look, try creating a duplicate of an existing caption by selecting the caption, holding down Alt, and then dragging to the new location. What's awesome is, you can do this as many times as you'd like across your whole video clip. Just remember to go back and alter the text. And there you have it. You've just learned how to use and customize subtitles and captions inside Final Cut Pro. So guys, that's it for me. And I hope you enjoyed this video on subtitles and captions in Final Cut Pro helpful. And feel free to check out all of our awesome Final Cut Pro templates, transitions, effects, stock footage, and more we have to offer at Motion Array. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.